Ooh, what is that? Some fuzzy thing. Hi guys! Today we're going to try another one of the smoke looks which comes with the smoke palette by Urban Decay. I've tried out, I guess, four looks until now, but there are plenty more to go. So today we're going to try one that we kind of already did, but this time it's a little bit different. It's called Iconic with Color. We did the Iconic one, which looks like this. And it's kind of the same, just with uh, some color involved. And um, it is kind of a similar process. Um, but I thought we're gonna go play around with the colors today. And um, I like green, so let's start with the green. Step one, apply freestyle from crease to brow. Same step as usual. Freestyle is the nude color in the palette. And I think the second step will be highlighting the brow bone with kinky as usual again. So we're going to use the two up colors in the row, like the, bowl, the light ones. The nude one is called freestyle and the light one is kinky. And I'm gonna go do the first two steps as told. And we're starting off with step one and two. Again, same problem, which I always have, these colors, I mean, it's just like I, I don't wear any makeup, it, does, it looks like nothing to me, these colors are way too similar to my skin tone, so I, I don't think that is doing anything for me. Okay, step three, using perversion pencil, line upper and lower lash line about halfway across from the outer corner towards the inner and smudge. Perversion pencil is the one that comes with the palette. It's one of their 24 seven glide on eye pencil and it's just the black one, not nothing very special. Ew, what is that? Some fuzzy thing. Oh, maybe I need to sharpen this guy. And here we are again, perversion pencil. Okay, so don't, don't drop it. It's always the cap, I'm always dropping the cap. Okay, and now I'm going to smudge. It's not a problem if this is kind of crooked and not very similar. I mean, I just slapped it on there and um, now I'm gonna go smudge everything so this will make it more even and better looking. Okay, so here we have both sides. I think they are mostly equal. It's, it's, oh, it's so difficult. But it's okay, I mean, I think if I look like this, it looks even, that's everything that is impossible. Step four, sweep loaded all the way across lower lash line, blending it into the pencil. The shadow should be thick and smudgy, make sure the edges look soft and fuzzy. So loaded is of course the green color, um, still cannot hold this right. Loaded is this very nice green color and I'm going to use an ankled eyeshadow brush to apply the shadow onto my lower lash line. Okay, so here we have it. It still looks pretty black to me. There's not much green visible. But what do you guys think? Step five, repeat step three and four for the lower lash line. So again, I'm applying with the perversion pencil, some eyeliner, and again, I'm gonna go over it with the loaded green eyeshadow. So we're at this point right now. Looks good, very intense, but not very green. Step six, apply loaded across upper lid and into the crease, blending up and out of the crease. So again, I'm using, uh, I'm using, I'm looking at the picture and they blend it kind of a little bit outside. Can anyone see anything? Outside, I'm holding this closer. Outside the crease, but not very much. Only on the outside of the eye, not much on the inner part. Okay, so I think this time I got the blending up and out way better than the last few times. If I want to compare my face to the picture, I kind of did go like outside, but I feel like there's such a harsh line that I cannot erase. Okay, so that's the best I can do until now. Step seven, okay. Layer more loaded on upper lid about one third of the way from outer to inner corner. Join with the lower lash line. 
eyeshadow at the outer corner and flare out slightly. Well, I already kind of did that to bring it outwards, but I'm going to go apply more eyeshadow on the one third part of the eye. I reapplied more of the loaded. I, I don't know, is this me? Does this look green to any of you? Well, to me, it's just gray. I mean, not that it's bad looking, but it's, I mean, the green. Can, can, I'm gonna go hold up the green again. Do you see any green? Well, I kind of don't. Okay, trace blackout along upper and lower lash lines, extending out slightly at the outer corner. Smudge into loaded. Okay, so blackout, we used this color many, many times before. It's this black jet black eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply it on. Where? Upper and lower lash lines. Upper and lower lash lines. Okay. This what is this? Okay, so here we have the step. Well, it is. It does look pretty dark now, but still, no green. No green. Okay, reline the outer third of the eye with perversion pencil. With a brush, fuse it into the shadow along the lash line. Seamlessly blend pencil with shadow. Well, since everything is kind of black right now, it won't be a problem to smudge these things together. Um, so we're going to reline the outer third, which is this area again. And on the upper lash line again. I think you can almost see anything right now because everything is so dark. Seamlessly blending means I'm gonna go over with my smudge brush again and I'm just smudging a little bit so I'm making sure there's no kind of weird line that is going on. But um, you know, there's nothing much visible right now anymore because it's kind of black, it's just black. Okay, step 10. Line the lower borderline all the way across with a perversion pencil. As usual, I'm going to use my Alvert pencil to line my waterline. Which is already kind of black because the eyeshadow just goes everywhere. But if you look, I mean, that does do kind of a difference. It's way darker now. And I have a feeling I know what is coming up and again, I'm afraid. To be honest, I didn't practice. Step 11. Line upper waterline all the way across and into the inner corner with perversion pencil. Make sure the upper and lower meet, lines meet. I don't want to. I can't even watch myself pulling up my eyelid like Ugh. I don't want to see the inside of my eyelid. I mean, come on. Ugh. Or maybe I can't. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, maybe other side. No. I can't even watch myself. I mean, this is just... I mean... That's a good thing with this pencil, it kind of wears off on my upper lash line, so it's not that bad if I don't do it. Maybe if I press my eyes together pretty hard. Is that it? Can I go away with that? Okay, these were the 11 steps. I'm going to apply some mascara to top off that look. I'm going to use the Lash Sensation... Who wants anything from me right now? The Lash Sensational... Um... Mascara by Maybelline, and it's the waterproof one. I'm going to apply top and bottom lashes. Ooh, what is that? Here we have the look, the finished look. Iconic with color. Can anyone see the color? I kind of can't. Oh, my eyes are watering so bad from this whole thing with the upper waterline. Why am I such incompetent? Uh, oh. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this very colorful look. I mean, um, yes, let me know in the comments down below what you think, would you wear it, wouldn't you, and why. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye.